Good afternoon, guys. You are watching Happy's Family Farm, and we are out in the garden again. The butterfly garden still looks decent from the last time I did it. Last week, I think it was. I have to work on here. I'm going to get this cleaned up today. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. We need to start bringing the mums up here. So what I'm going to do is just start going all the way back and weed eating everything down keeping things that look good um i'm gonna probably put it all on time lapse for now because i have to try to get as much done as i can we'll show you how big the pumpkins are as you can see as you can see they're all the way back there and they are huge but i need to work on getting this done because the mums need to come down here rachel wants to start trying to sell some of the mums that we have up there i'll show you how they're looking they're actually starting to get their buds and maybe even some getting some flowers on it as you guys can see this is a mess so what i'm gonna do is probably just go in it's hard because i thought everything was dead from blight in here but then i come over here well these tomato plants aren't doing too healthy here they come, guys. They haven't been over in this side for a long time, but we're gonna clean the coop, get all that freshened up, um, and I might let them stay on this side for most of the time. We'll see which ones fly out, which ones don't. It's pretty high on this side, the other side isn't. But this might keep them occupied at least until I get down there done i just don't want them getting in here killing my pumpkins or anything in the garden but i think they'll be content in here right <laughs> they're like in the seed <laughs> and we're gonna try to let these guys free range a little bit more i want to make a run around the garden one day but we'll let these guys be we'll get back to them in about an hour and see what's going on in here Hopefully none of them get out. Okay guys, now that we let the chickens out, let's see what we can do to try not to damage any of the plants in here and actually help them live, all my tomatoes. I mean, these hanging baskets are shot. They'll come back. We'll do an experiment. We'll cut all these back. I'll take them up to the house. Well, these ain't gonna come back. We've uh, lost these. Maybe if I cut them back and fertilize them. But as you can see, there's more weeds growing in this mess than there's plants. So until you get to that half. But I've neglected that too. And we'll show you where I've concentrated the most in the garden. It's definitely noticeable. It's at the top. Up at the top garden by the house. Like we said, and um, well, no, that was on the other channel. We kind of, the garden gets put on the back burner when we get into doing landscaping and lawn care and stuff. So I'm gonna try to clean it up now so we can have it ready for the fall. Everything should still grow a ton more because it's still, we have two months until a freeze, I think, two, maybe two and a half months the way weather's been. But we will see, let's get some of this done. I'm a mess. Okay, guys, we just weed eated a ton of stuff. And I'll take you, I'm not gonna make you wait for the whole video to see one of these big pumpkins. But I found one that's even bigger than everyone we've seen so far. Um, I don't know, maybe this one? Look how big this one is, right? And I'll spoil it. You guys don't have to watch the whole video. Look how big this one is. Ooh. I'm like a kid. Like a little kid, man. It's funny. Look, there's one back there. And I think that's the biggest one we have. But, okay, you guys got to see the pumpkins. Before I... Now we have some that are turning orange in there. Which is cool. See it? But there's more. These just grew overnight. These two, so funny. There's more coming down here. I haven't fertilized them in a while neither. Okay, you can see I'm a pretty big mess. I got all the garden weed eat it down for the most part. 
I think a lot of the other stuff I'm gonna have to go through there by hand and pull out so I don't mess up any of the plants. As you see, the pumpkin patch was a success this year. I am very happy with that. We'll hunt for a white pumpkin later. Um, and then I'll show you the mums. We'll do a little walkthrough and we'll try to get more walkthroughs every couple of days. But let's go ahead and go take a break and get cleaned up. I'm back out here. It's a little cooler out now. So now that I got all that weed eaten, what I'm gonna do is go through here. I'm gonna blow everything out into the lawn here. And then we're gonna go through and I gotta per hand weed all the, the rest of the garden back there because it's um a little overgrown and I don't wanna weed in any of the plants that are back there right now. And then I'm gonna, once I get it all out, I'm gonna go ahead and mow everything up, get it cleaned up guys. And then I'll take you up to the hanging baskets by the house. I want to show you what I'm going to do up there because tomatoes started growing out of them. So we're going to go up there and I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to have the tomatoes grow up somehow. But let's get all this done and then we'll go up there and look at that, guys. And I'll show you some of the plants up there too because that's the best part of the garden up there so far. I haven't been as good with the garden down here. As you can see, stuff looks a little more dingy and stuff down here but we're working on it we'll get it going again we have plenty of growing time to keep some of this stuff growing and save whatever plants that are out there we're going to save so let's go ahead Okay guys, I think I'm done out here. Look, that, that was a wild tomato growing up, nice. So I think I'm done out here. I'm not gonna go extensively through the garden. It's getting dark. I weed eated everything down, pulled a lot of weeds out, found out there's a lot of tomatoes left still. I thought this part of the garden was done, but look, I'm gonna clip off the old tomatoes, all the dead leaves before we get rain again. I tied up the Mexican sunflowers. There's still peppers and buckets that are bone dry. I'm gonna give some of this stuff some water. Look, tomatoes everywhere. Even more new peppers, more new flowers. Cantaloupe isn't doing as good. So I guess this is a cr pretty quick garden walkthrough. I got all that cleaned up. Look at that pumpkin. That's just, that's an amazing size pumpkin, isn't it? I'm so happy. I'm gonna keep this. What? Oh, is it seven already? Oh, guys, I got to go. I got to do a lot. I put all the hay in the coop. I got to go. The rat So I got to go. Ratliff's doing a live tonight. I want to go to do it. I mean, go uh, participate in it. That's Ratliff Family Lawns, guys. So if you haven't subscribed to them, go ahead and go subscribe to them. But I'll show you something real quick. I'll leave this other part of the garden. You'll see me walk through here. So you'll see how pretty it is. I'll leave the other part to do on another walk through so but i want to show you this so these are baskets i started bringing back to life and this is why you don't do tomatoes in your worm buckets but i don't care looks pretty cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop all these baskets down that have tomatoes all the way down to a foot off the ground clean them up keep the flowers in it and let the tomatoes climb up these hooks here and this is not going to fall down this is really heavy built from back in the old days and we're going to start feeding all this stuff here so we can get this to grow up nice and pretty but guys and so, oh and these turn out to look really pretty um i'm gonna split these because i like the flowers on them but until the next video guys maybe we'll do an actual walkthrough with rachel i'm gonna go in and watch their live oh look tomatoes over here so until next video, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, be happy or at least try. Have a good night.